all snap. Brandon's back from vacation, motor goes in. Throw some pre mix in, spark plug on, and away we go. Oh yeah. Fingers crossed. You gonna put some blinkers on? Not right now. We've got, I gotta do something with this, but we've got the metric at 77 on here. <laughs> my luck she does not want to run now or did i break it i'm really good at breaking things since we're on this walk there is a potential to make the street legal i don't know if they're laughing at me or smiling at me exercise and do something different so paul gold star for paul wow all right all right that was 110 and fifth Basically, this is when you have a regular scooter engine, your whole crankcase area is just this in theory with the swing arm. Smells different, right? Paul will lick it. <laughs> Do you remember that time where he licked the spit? Make sure you catch it. Well, it can't come out because the rod's sticking out. Don't tell me I did. I didn't do anything. Get the f on your problem. in the know. Yeah, just keep track of keep track of what you're doing. Thank you for holding. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? What's your name? This is Jojo. Jojo? Oh. I have a cousin named Jojo. Uh, we call him little Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> start start it up. Is it a diesel model? Maybe the next person that buys a Sherco will give him this one for free because... Oh snap. Brandon's back from vacation, motor goes in. He's ready to ride this thing. How you doing there, feller? Doing all right. It's kind of hot. A little it's bit a hot. Scorcher today. It's Ninety something. It is ninety degrees. It's gonna be ninety-three. It's hot. So what do you got left on this thing? Throttle cable. Uh, I had to make a custom throttle cable. Custom one? Why is that? Well, the PWK. This guy down, down yonder. The D slide has a larger slide, so it doesn't have enough travel. Mm. It's not that the actual cable itself is too short. So it's the inner doesn't have enough travel. Yeah. Cable. Uh, cable goes on, clutch cable, shifter, goes and pre-mix in, spark plug on, and away we go. Oh yeah. Fingers crossed. You gonna put some blinkers on? Not right now. Man, it's all accessible. Well, it's I guess we can show like, this it's too. It's real hard to take this off. Pat. Yeah, it, takes it a is. Lot of it's time. difficult. It's I mean, real difficult. Don't take it off anymore. I'm just looking here. I don't care about here. blinkers right now. So this is what you're gonna have behind the headlight. You have a left and a right. The blinkers. I don't think there's anything else in here. Right? No, there's a plug somewhere for the relay and the horn. I think it's on this yeah. side. That there, I think it's for your horn. We already have a relay, but there's a wire for a horn over here. I don't mm -hmm. know. I know where the, that's probably the relay right there, actually. Yeah. Again, all these connectors are trail tech temp, trail tech connectors. So I think what I'm gonna do, since I already have a coolant head sensor, the factory one, I'm gonna mm -hmm. try to plug in a trail tech temp gauge just a peel and stick to this connector so I can get a reading. I think it works out, it should work that way, mm -hmm. I would think. How was this the one night when you rode it back? Was this enough output? It was fine. Really? I don't think it was. That's like a like a blinker bulb. Was it that late or that dark? Oh, I wasn't sure how late you guys rode out. I don't know, I seem fine, no complaints. Sweet. It's getting there. All right, kids. We've got, I gotta do something with this, but we've got the metric at 77 on here. We've got the carb clamps type, got a bell mouth just because uh, 
just because just because I'm not a fan I'm not a fan of the exhaust you know I expect race pipes to be pretty crummy down low but it's like no matter how I tune it I just it feels like the pilots either way too big or too small so we're gonna try the metric kit pipe for this cylinder or the, the way the cylinder is normally the pipe slides into the cylinder there's a flange that slides in and this pipe is not like that it has a bolt-on flange yet it's kind of a bubbled like a bubbled flange which is meant for uh, my understanding is uh, a derby so it's not really right for this bike it just has zero power i mean it's barely even rideable below like 9,000. and this is what i experienced on the other cylinders you guys i'm sure you guys saw i've got experimenting with jetting right now maybe maybe not maybe maybe not choke um it seems like it wants a, it's a pretty small pilot which is kind of odd she does not want to run now did I break it? I'm really good at breaking things. So yeah, not happy with the pipe at all. Revs really high, or I shouldn't say high, but it runs really good up top. Just deader than dead down below. What the heck? What do I do? The idle sounds better. Oh, wow, okay. That's a little better. Okay. Oh, I'm literally out of gas. Man. It's my luck. What is going on? I see gas. I see you gas, but there's nothing coming out. You know what? Hmm. What the heck, Sherco? Oh, it's out of gas, all right. Come on. Come on, traffic. Go in front of a speeding bus here. Oh, man. I'm gonna use my coasting power. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna walk this back. Since we're on this walk, I assumed with the state of Oregon, since he said off-road use only on the title, that they were uh, not able to get a Oregon street legal title. However, speaking with my WPS rep, he informed us that he's got a dealer that street legalizes a KTM EXC 300s at the coast in Oregon, um, which is the same scenario as this. So that tells me there is a potential to make these street legal. So once I get the bike somewhat close, we're gonna go through and put uh, blinkers, relay, horn, all that stuff, and then it'll allow us to formulate a package as well. There's Paul's bike, kudos Paul. He rode it one time to work today. However, I did give him massive credit because it uh, takes work to exercise and do something different. So, Paul, Paul, you get a gold star. I actually looked for gold stars on eBay if you could just buy like a pack of gold stars and they don't sell them. So, um, gold star for Paul. It's good stuff. Anytime it takes work to exercise and be healthier. So, pretty cool if we can make these street legal here in Oregon there's probably about 10 people I know right off the bat that would buy one within a week and sell their groms because this makes ooh, way more fun than a grom okay let's try it again it may be that I adjusted the float a little bit too much on this because it was leaking out so it's possible that the float is just a little bit too steep adjusted it a little bit too far actually probably my guess so i'm just gonna go ahead and pull the carb off and we're gonna check that float because i think that's probably what happened is i probably went a little too far on the adjustment it's just um running out of fuel right there i'm sure you guys already know how to adjust a float as i kind of said earlier the steeper the carb the harder it is to get that level right because be, because if the float shuts off too early because of the angle you're not going to have enough fuel sitting in the bowl um if the float is uh open too much or shuts too late then it flows over into the bike and this bike was actually running really um really rich 
and it acted like it wanted a really small pilot because what was going on is the car was overflowing and the bike was sucking that fuel into the engine so it's getting extra fuel um there's getting extra fuel at idle you know wide open throttle cruising and stuff it could kind of take it and then right there you guys just saw it die it on me because the, the, the adjustment wasn't right you know, clear bowls are pretty cool just for tuning they do serve a purpose if you get one for a cp be prepared they will warp and leak they're not made to be used on a regular basis they're just made for tuning but they're pretty cool for getting to set up let's see if that's good <laughs> You don't really know until you just take it and ride it. We'll cruise around a little bit. Unfortunately, when you guys do the float, it just takes a while. It's like it's almost floating up a little bit right now. Yeah, it's kind of making that kind of cackling, crackling sound because it's loading up. You can hear it's all loaded up. Now it's really loading up right there. So it's still dumping fuel in. Again, this pipe is really hard to tune. As you guys see, wide open is fine. But it's that cruising on pilot, it's really difficult. It does not like pilot. So it's just been definitely been a struggle. Getting that pilot figured out. Like right now, I've got a 130 main because you always start really high. My pilot, I'm at a 42. You see, it's just like loading up because that bowl's overflowing. You can typically reach down, shut the gas off. They typically clear up a little bit. Lowering the level of fuel in that bowl, but I'm gonna go back and uh, drop the pilot down one size. The bowl's not leaking right now, but I'm gonna go. I just feel like the pilot should be bigger, but it's like this pipe just it wants a really lean pilot, which just seems odd, but it just loads up. Oh, that was a cop. I don't know if they were laughing at me or smiling at me. I'm gonna go over here. It's taking forever. You see how it's loading up there and then it gets on it? You wait for it. Yeah, I'm gonna drop down the pilot. It's just so big. It, it just is loading up like crazy. Ah, somebody pooped on that guy's truck. He deserves it. This guy's a jerk. Okay, so we're gonna go smaller on the main, or sorry, pilot. God, that is a mess. So we'll be able to provide probably more content from you guys, and uh, or for you guys. So there's gonna be probably less of Patrick talking and more of me, which I'm not sure if you guys will like that or not. Patrick probably won't because he's not going to get to be in the spotlight as much. So um, just because I have more time now to be able to work on stuff because we hired a manager. John is the nicest guy on earth. These are really cool. We sell these too. They're pretty sweet for doing this exact job. I typically just rotate it. Let that puppy drain out like so. Nice thing about this, you don't have to pull the fairings off and all that stuff like a regular scooter. You're still going to leave some, lose some fuel here. But yeah, since we got a shop manager, now there he is. John, say hi. That's John. He likes long walks on the beach. I said, you like long walks on the beach? Yes, if you ever call, you talk to somebody, you call a service number, and you're like, man, that guy was really, really nice. Probably John. He's the nicest guy on earth. And then I'd say I'm probably the second nicest. Pat, you know, Pat's an interesting, he's an interesting fella. He really is a nice person, but he comes off pretty harsh. But he's a nice person. He does mean well. He replies to us in caps locks. It's a big, it's a big thing around here. He uses a caps lock when he, um, sends us messages back and forth and we all assume that he's yelling at us and he says he's not but you guys can all vote if somebody texts and caps locks that's yelling it's digital yelling in my opinion but we love him we love pat 
Paul probably doesn't as much. Let's do a 42. Still probably a little too big. Come on, you. Come on, you dirty pilot jet. Hey, Paul, steal my stuff here? What else does he have over here? It's mine. Hmm. Interesting. See how this guy goes. This bike I'm running on 110 for the time being. Um, I will have to change it back over to pump fuel or not. I may just leave it on 110. I'm not sure yet. If you guys work on your bikes, don't be like me. Wear gloves, okay? Because I know I'm going to get like cancer because I don't wear gloves when I work with these chemicals and I know I really should. But yeah, as you guys see, that was what? Um, maybe five minutes, four minutes to change a pilot jet. Pretty cool. And as I was saying earlier, there's a pretty good chance we're going to be able to get these street legal. If that happens, hold on to your trousers because things are going to get crazy. They will sell and they will sell fast. And Oregon will be full of these. If I have anything to, 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 do, to do with it, to say about it, you guys saw it. For those of you who say I don't work on bikes, you just witnessed it. I worked on a bike. Let's do that. Okay, I'm hoping for the best. It's getting hot. Oh, 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 oh yeah. This bug eye, guy had some work done and then um, somebody pulled out in front of him and he hit the car, went over the handlebars. Guy's okay, because obviously that's the, that's the biggest concern. And uh, the frame's bent, the forks are bent, so feels better. The frame's bent, the forks bent. Uh, you can see the fairings are all kind of cracked right in that region. So he sold it to us with a title, and that, that is our jet ski donor bike. Paul wants to ride it and wheelie it, which I told him he can, but when he comes down, the front end's going to hit the fairings. He's probably going to crash, but that's up to him. Pilot feels a lot better. He definitely loads up right there though. It's just a weird pipe. So when we swapped on the Yasuni, or I'm sorry, the stage six, it didn't do this. See if I hold it at a quarter throttle, a quarter to half is fine. It's that down below. It just I've gone through, I've done a 42 to 48. Now I just want to push that thing over the edge. Portland, letting the motor hums occupy our streets. I mean, it I, hasn't been on the dyno yet. I feel like, I feel like it's maybe, oh, uh, let's turn around and Makes more people upset. Uh, I feel like it's maybe like 18 wheel horse, probably 19. Uh, keep in mind, stock ignition still not tuned. Giant main jet, but you guys can kind of see. That was 110 kilometers. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, I'm, I'm driving a Harley. Oh, those guys are cool. They wave. So it's cool we're seeing, you know, it's making power up to 12.9. But yeah, I'll go back, check the plug, do it once over. I, I don't know if I'm gonna mess with the pilot too much at this point because it runs better when it's leaner but see it's loading up right there what's up cruise master on private property not abandoned oh uh guard rottweiler yeah sounds like animal abuse pretty bad yeah right there just doesn't like that that spot It'll get over it, watch. It's that 6,500 6, to 7,500 range. It just, or 5,500, just does not like that spot. I don't know if I have any more pipes for this sitting at the shop. I'd be surprised if this wasn't gonna do. Stay in your lane, Ford. 
uh, be surprised if this didn't do, you know, 7580 right now. But it says 110 kilometers back. I'll do the math on that. That's good. They said we're going to switch to the metric system back when we're in grade school. Oh, it's coming. You got to learn it. Sorry, it never came. 13.9. That's fifth gear. Wow. All right. Okay. That's pretty quick. All right, that was 110 and fifth. So, we go back. Make sure everything looks good. Oh yeah, okay, all right. Can't yeah, cause enough noise for today on Johnson Creek. Gonna go back, look at the plug, pull the... Man, I, I wonder if I can go up on the main. If you keep it above, keep it above. 9,000. Keep it above 9,000. It's 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 uh just straight party. Below that, it's not good. Um, but that's pretty cool. Runs good. Need some more tuning, but it's not far off. I'm pretty satisfied with it. I'm gonna go ahead and work on the blinkers and stuff right now. My guesstimation is that's probably as it sits, 125, 130 kilometers. Good good job. Good job today, Paul. Are you ready to get gap? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Time is of the essence.